Hello, Just Too Good here, and Sam taking a look at the Legoland exclusive Fire Academy set. This has 221 pieces, three minifigures, and retails for $20 in the United States, where it should be available at Legoland stores January 1st. This was sent to me by Lego, but all opinions in this video are my own. The first minifigure we'll take a look at is the Legoland employee. This design is the same one, at least for the torso, from the big Legoland set, which is exclusive to that set before this one, so it's really nice to get it in a cheap set like this. Other than that, though, they have a face print that's becoming more and more common, and the face and the hat is reminding me of Brickatech Sigfig. Next minifigure has another face print and torso print that are slightly uncommon, but becoming more common in these city sets and promotional sets, and her alternate facial expression has her sleeping. This was originally introduced in a junior set from 2015. Finally, the child minifigure of this set uses a torso print that was introduced, what, was it, I think in 2009? But this design has not been used too often, so it's nice to see it in a 2020 set, because I guess a lot of people might have missed out on it. There are four separate builds of the set. First, we'll take a look at that building. The building is quite literally a facade. I mean, you only get the front design with the back being more of a means to the play feature, but that's kind of in line with the Fire Academy at Legoland, so it makes sense to me. Now these flames can be pushed up and there's a small slot with these windows where you can knock them out. I'll show that play feature in a little bit, but for now at the bottom, these two stickered pieces right here are one of the most annoying stickers to put in any Lego set. They use these little uh, panel pieces and you have to stick them in right at the right positioning or else they'll look a little bit off. Mine might look a little bit off because I cannot position them with how small that panel slot is. It's just really annoying and there's more annoying stickers of this set and we'll get to those in a bit. The final build is pretty unique for a small building design. I do like the colors they have going on here. And also for the play feature, all you have to do is use this little shooter that they give you, push down on the top stud shooter and position it just right. Oh man, that one just went flying. Uh, it's not that easy to get the little flame if you're doing it from the ground, but if you do it as a cheap shot, lifting it up in the air, oh, it's still not easy. Come on, even cheating, I can't do this. Come on. There you go. Well, that's one down. I'm not even gonna attempt to do that one. And the build for the water stud shooter is very simple, where you can position it and rotate it at the top, and there's not too much else going on. In a way, it looks a little bit like a fire hydrant. I'm not sure if they were going for that design, but that's how I see it. For the fire truck build, this design has more annoying stickers, yay! Putting the stickers on these windshields here is just a pain in the butt to align them properly. So sorry if those are misaligned. And on the side, another sticker here, sticker at the back, and you can see that one I've really messed up. And then there's another sticker right here. This design does use the LEGO Junior's car base, which makes for a pretty cramped interior. And sure, it may be accurate to the actual Legoland set or you know the Legoland builds inside Legoland, but it is still kind of annoying for me where you have these stickered double cheese slopes and enough room for too many figures cramped inside and a little stick to control the vehicle or whatever. Finally, there's a side build with a stickered map. This is the same sticker from the big set, if I'm not mistaken, the big Legoland set that came out last year. It's definitely based off of that layout. Also, there's a little container so that you could hold some of those studs once you're done shooting them and losing them like I did. At the back, there's not too much else in detail, but that's it for the builds of the set. Let's take a look at the packaging and then the final verdict. The box for this set is that Legoland box size, which they also use for a lot of promotional sets. And at the back, there's some different shots of what you can do. The instructions are relatively short, which at the end, they do have an advertisement for the big Legoland set. So overall, there's a lot I like with this set, but some things that really weigh it down. The builds of this set range from pretty good to pretty bad, even if they're accurate or not. I'm just judging them based on what is included. Beyond that, I also think that some of the stickers in this set are quite annoying, with some of the ones found on the fire truck and the panels down here. Though I do really like this building and I like this torso they put in here. The selection of minifigures and builds on this area are all good. It's just this one build that kind of annoys me. I don't know, I'd rate it a B overall. I mean, for $20, there's a nice selection here. There's some nice pieces. It's an interesting build compared to some other $20 sets. 
I don't have too much else to elaborate on. But what do you guys think? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.